everyone, pattern-collections.com is where you want to go to find today's pattern. I'm going on pattern focus and we're going to do seahorse. Ah, yes, it does sort of look like a seahorse, doesn't it? Okay, so step number one, we're going to be doing an, a backwards S. Right, that's a backwards S or an S. You could do them either direction, I suppose. An S shape with a long, bigger one here and a long thing like that, a long, skinny, where this is bigger than this. Then we're going to come around like that, fill that in. So you could draw that all in one swoop like that, which I probably will do. <clears throat> then from here you're going to come around like that and then starting at the bottom coming up on the inside the side where this head is you're going to put these little petal shapes actually you want to start you actually want to start here and do petal shapes coming down toward the bottom like that. And then that's that's the shape we're looking for right there. What fun is that? Um, just put a little face in that one. That's cute. And then there's the shape. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Um, don't want it to look just like that. It'll look different. Here it comes. Here comes the light. Close your eyes. Ah! God, that's awful. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. It just is. That's what I gotta do. Okay. Um thinking. I'm 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 a thinking, I'm a thinking. I'm thinking I want to do it in a mandala-like way. Um, somebody asked me to do a mandala style, but I have a lot of mandala style. I just don't draw mandalas. And I think the reason I don't draw mandalas themselves is because I see them as being, well, traditional mandalas. I'll just put it that way. I think I do draw mandalas. They're just non-traditional. Um, the traditional mandala is too rigid and structured for me. I'm not, I'm not that. But I will do, you know, radiating something that starts in the middle and radiates outward. They just don't always end up being um, symmetrical. But I'm going to draw, divide my tile into radius like that. <coughs> And I'm just going to kind of play. And I'm going to decide whether I want... I'm going to start here. And I'm going to... I'm going to draw it just the way the, the sample shows. So we're going to draw a... an S-like curve and then come around and draw that. And now on the next one, I'm not going to do it like that because I find that to be a little awkward right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and draw starting over here. Like that. And I find that to be a little more pleasing of a shape and easier for me to draw. But you see, even though I've given myself sort of a grid, a, a radiating shape, my, my, my pieces aren't always the same size. So I, I'm sort of mandala-like, but I, yeah, I could draw concentric circles and make them all perfect. I'm not going to do that. It's just not me.
I'm going to put some going the other way now. Like that. Like that. So I've got some going inward, I've got some going outward, and that's what I'm going to do. Just how I feel like it needs to live. And then there's this part coming this way on all of these, right? That. I'm a little far out with this. I think it needed to come closer to there. I'll do that on the other ones. So this one maybe not quite as carried away with the lengths. See, it's probably better like that. Only part way down that stem, like so. And then these ones coming this way. Coming from he about here, and coming down like that, or something. Super simple, this one. I think I should have made some going the other way, though, so I could see how it works going the other direction. seeing something out of the corner of my eye. I'm not too sure what I'm seeing, but then I go to look and I don't see it, which is really quite annoying. I think what I might be seeing is the reflection of my hand in my phone. Just weird. I've never seen it before. But then when I go to look, it's gone. So that's just weird. Okay, so I've done some going inside, some going outside. I, I'm not super happy with this, so I'm going to do another maybe two. Give them a little more something. That one's going behind. That one kind of is too. Okay. That's pretty awesome. I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to erase my um, guidelines, my those, those radiating guidelines, because I don't need them. And I'm just going to shade. And then I'll be done. This is going to be a quick one. It's one that could also use some coloring if you wanted to. Do I want to color? No. I do. I want to color. Why do I want to color? All right. We're going to color. What the heck? I'm going to get a turquoisey color and a 
green and um, another kind of a blue and this kind of aqua. There we go. I'm leaving the middle kind of with a highlight, if you'll notice, just because it's where I feel like it needs to be. Ooh, isn't that pretty? That's a pretty color. Oops, I missed one. Now, do I want that same color? I think I'm going to just make this color as sort of the base color for everything. And then come back in with those other blues and greens. But I want this color on a little bit on everything. Now you'll note, I am not being overly precise with this coloring. not at this point. It's just kind of a mess. That's okay. Okay, so so much for that one. And then uh, the next color blue I want is this. Right in there. Okay, and then the next color blue. I want here. Okay, and then in here, same thing. You'll notice that I tend to turn my page a lot. I like to keep it easy for me so I don't twist my arm or my hand while I'm coloring or drawing. Very important to keep yourself ergonomically in tune. Okay, so then I want a little of this green here and here. Like that. That's pretty cool. Easy, quick. I may get out my blending stump or my, my colorless blender on this one 
and blend all these colors together. I think that would be really pretty. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Kind of depends on the project, but I think this one might need it. Get all these different tones of blues and greens kind of carefully blended. And if I don't think I have enough contrast when I'm done, I can come back in with my graphite with my regular pencil and give it a little bit of extra shading, a little darker, which I might do. Um, let me get my colorless blender. Looks like it needs to be sharpened. Just a moment. Let me sharpen that. I just take this colorless blender and just kind of scooch around all the colors and look at how it see what it does I don't know if you can see that can you tell a difference between this one and that one where I've blended it just kind of smushes all the colors together and makes them blended, which is what a blender is supposed to do. I like it. Okay. Kind of fills in the gaps of the paper. pushing overly hard. I don't need to push hard. I'm not I'm not trying to mush the paper to death. I'm just scooching some of that color around. And this tile is reminding me of my nephew. I don't know why. He has... I believe he has fallen in love with a girl who lives all the way across the country. He lives here in California and she lives in Florida. My sister-in-law is worried that he's going to want to marry her and move across the country, which is possible. It happens. But as long as he's happy. She seems like a nice girl. We met her. She came here for New Year's. part of the week between Christmas and New Year's. So, met her at a couple of different events. She seemed like a nice girl. Very outdoorsy, loves the water. That's why I think I, this tile's reminding me of that. Very ocean. Oh, well, I just flung my page on the floor. Excuse me, I have to go get it. Oh, goodness. I have not done that in a really long time. Okay. That's good. Do I need a little graphite? I might need a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm just going to test it here. Let's see, do I need it or no? Hmm. Because once I put it on, I won't be able to take it off because of the colored pencil. 
a little bit's okay. I don't want to overdo. So I'm just going to put just a little bit right here where it kind of connects to those. Just on the big ones, I think. That'll be plenty. Right where they connect. Okay. Because once I put it on one of them, I had to do it on all of them. But I don't want to overdo. like that you like that I like that I'm, I'm happy with it okay time to put away my colored pencil so I'm gonna need to write down the name of this I do believe it was seahorse this one I remember the name okay where am I going to write the name though I want to put it in here I think That one wasn't so hard, was it? Uh, didn't take very long. You guys have a really great day. Go out and do something nice for somebody today and make the world a better place. And um, you know, make sure you tell everybody that's in your life that how much you love them and appreciate them. Um, you know, it makes a big difference in their day. It really does. I will see you guys later. Bye bye.